Hello everyone, it is Karen Gerber here for Graphic 45. I wanted to share with you my very first project, which I designed as my introduction project. And this is a handmade album measuring eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter uh, with a three inch spine. And I am gonna do a walkthrough on how I created my inside pages. I don't have anything on the inside front cover yet. I'm not sure what I wanna do there. I have a few magnetic closures throughout the album, one being here, and I have four photo flips here, and then we're going to open it, and here I've got some side pockets that I can add more photos and pull out tags to. I want to create a clasp closure here. I have another magnet on this side. And I've got two fold down photo flips here. I'm gonna turn it this way. And again, I've got an open pocket. I've got a magnet on here and this folds out this way. I have another belly band here on a magnet closure and that opens that way. And again, all my pages have side pockets. Let's go to side pocket here. And then this one, I've just got a large photo flip. And then here I have another belly band with the fold out. And again, the side pocket. And then the final page, I have a large fold out. Not sure what I want to do with the inside back cover. But there you have my walkthrough of my very first project with Graphic 45. Okay, so I've got my uh, chipboard laid out and I've got my adhesive on the back of my chipboard. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that down. So I always like to have the joining piece of the two pieces of cardstock that I put together in the middle of my spine. And there's this great little handy tool from We Are that I'm going to allow the proper separation between my spine and the front cover and then my spine and my back cover. So I'm just gonna go Okay, so I've got my adhesive wrapped all the way around uh, the inside of the cover. I've also trimmed a little bit off the edge just to make sure all the sides were even. So now I need to crease, lightly fold in these edges just so I don't tear that cardstock. Can also stand so for the hinge, I have created a hinge piece like this. I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I have a piece of cardstock, seven and five eighths by 11. And I need to score at one and a half, at two and a quarter, at three, at three and three quarters, four and a half, five and a quarter, six, six and three quarters, seven and a half, eight and a quarter at nine inches and then at nine and three quarters and you can see the score lines there so what we're going to do now is we are just going to fold on that center line to create create our hinge and then we're going to glue on the back So I'm just going to go and just kind of pinch these together. And here is our hinge. Now I'm just going to glue on the back and I will be right back. So now we need to cover the inside of the front and back of our album. So I need two pieces of black cardstock measuring seven and a half by seven and a half. And I have put adhesive on the back and we are just gonna glue that down. So I'm just finishing up gluing this down here. So I need to center it, giving it some space there where the spine is gonna bend. 
And I want to make sure I burnish that. I just want to go over my hinge again. Okay, then a little bend. And look at that. We have just put together our album base. So what we need to build now are the signatures that will go in here. You will need eight pieces of cardstock. We need to cut four, seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And we need to cut four, seven and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And then we need to score on the long end at one half inch on each end. These are going to create our pockets. So I will put one together just to show you. So I'm going to run adhesive on that scored edge. Fold and burnish. Burnishing is very important when you're making a, an album from scratch. So I have my top piece, which measures seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And we are just going to line up that piece. Burnish those two together and do the same for this side. Actually, I can do it from down here. Line up that edge and pull out that adhesive. And then I'm going to trim off any excess glue. So there is our signature. So I've got my four signatures all put together. And now I just need to insert these into the album. Taking off the glue strips from the hinge, I'm gonna open up my signature and press this over that hinge. And then I just need to secure both sides. I'm just going to go over it with my bone folder. And I'm going to do that for all four signatures. And there we go. There is our album. With the four pages and the open ends to add more photos in there. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to build my album base. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.